Hey guys, Dan Valamon here with Fanatic Wrestling. Today I am joined by a fellow Big Ten, former fellow Big Ten wrestler, Nick Simmons. Uh, wrestled around the same time as me when I was wrestling at Penn State. Uh, Four-time All-American while he was in college. After that, he went on to um, place fifth in the world in 2011, which is a pretty amazing feat there. And now is currently running a very successful club in uh, Lansing, Michigan, where I think he's got a shirt on here. Saw. Saw. So Simmons Academy of Wrestling that him and his brother, um, who also has a video with us, uh, kind of run up there. So if you're ever in Lansing, make sure you're checking them out for that. But today we just filmed a new instructional video um, going over the front headlock position and talking a lot about um, a lot of offense that Nick had success with that works for him in folk style and freestyle, uh, a lot of even for Greco and then possibly for you other martial artists out there as well. So Nick, you want to just give us a quick rundown on what we went over? Yeah, so just one of the little basic things that we did here. So I'm in basic front headlock with Dan here. I'm going to step the corner a little bit, step the corner, I'm going to rotate knees, and I'm going to bring my lock to the top of his head. Shoulders underneath his armpit, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to push and pull, right here, and up in my position. Like Dan said, works for all styles, freestyle, folk style, Greco, all the other martial artists out there, your Jiu Jitsu guys, stuff like that. I mean, it's real, real good stuff. And yeah, and Nick's getting, you might not be able to tell from the film, but one thing he's doing, he's getting, well, in that instance, his right shoulder deep underneath my armpit. So when he's pulling my head down, he's also driving his shoulder in and it gets really tight. It makes it really hard for me to, if I didn't want to go over, it's really hard for me to fight that. That's a lot of pressure. It's very tight there. Now also, um, I know there's the option and you might get this sometimes in freestyle where people are like, I don't want to go over my back. I don't want to no. just get touch fault here. Um, and maybe you got guys that kind of just go in like that part right. type position. So in there, you know, um, we got different options in there, you know, whatever you give me, I'm going to take, right? So like, if he doesn't want to go over, I step the corner here, this dude's fighting tough. He might belly out. It's like, I'll go behind. Now we can work our freestyle Greco stuff from here, work our parts here. Or you guys and the other martial artists, you want to take his back, take his back. Yeah. And I mean, that's super easy. I don't know. Right. I don't know what you had to like happen to you most often there, but I think I probably wouldn't likely be like, all right, I'll just give up the two rather than get pinned it's here. A, yeah, it's about 50-50. Okay. Depending on the guy, how tough he is and stuff, it's 50-50 whether he's going to go over for you or he's going to belly out. And it happens pretty quick, too. I mean, no, it's fast. when he gets there, I mean, he has a lot of pressure, and it's like you're either going to get choked out or you can yes. jump over, or if you're smart enough, you can belly out and just give up, too, and live to fight another day. Yeah. But one last thing, too, and I know Nick and I were talking a little about it a little bit, but I know I've been competing in jiu-jitsu a little bit. I know our BJJ Fanatic site is... Uh, one of the biggest BJJ sites in the world, probably is the biggest one in the world. So it um, seems like this could lend itself to um, a nice position to be able to get in a choke. Yeah, here. for sure. This and everything else in the series, I mean, it'd be big for you guys. I think it is. I have all my fighters do it. But here, right here. So uh, I step this corner here. And when you guys finish, when we get in this north-south position, right here, don't unlock your hands. Just slide right into your dars, right here, and wait for him to tap. Get your sub from right there in that north-south position. Just a nice, easy slide transition. Nice. And that should be really good transition like for you wrestlers in general that are constantly in this headlock position. I know that I've found a lot of success there as well. So yeah. really cool stuff. Again, this is something that can work at any type, any style of wrestling, any martial art really. Uh, so um, a lot of practicality with it and it's yeah. it's not fun to be in. No, uh, and not he's had a lot of success with it, so it absolutely works. Yeah. So um, thanks a lot, Thank Nick. You. I really appreciate, appreciate it. it. Um, guys, if this video is not out yet, please stay on the lookout for it. And if you're waiting, check out Nick's other video. And again, his brother Andy has one out too. Make sure you check those out. Um, and while you're doing that, make sure you check out some of the other great content in our store. Make sure you're following our Facebook group, like the Facebook page. Um, follow us on Instagram. Uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel, all that good stuff. Thanks again for watching, guys. We'll see you soon.